What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today we're continuing the Galaxy S10 coverage. Now I've already made a bunch of videos on this phone. I made an initial Q&A video, as well as my first 10 things to do video as well. I'll drop all the links below in the description, also in the pinned comment if you wanna check them out. Today I'm talking about something that people often ask in recent years when getting a Samsung phone, and that is how can I remap or replace the Bixby functionality that's tied to the Bixby key. The Bixby key is right here below the volume rocker on the left side of the phone. Also, this is the Spec Presidio Pro case. Some people asked about that in the last video, which case I was using. But anyway, when you press this key, when you have the phone here, press it, it's gonna open up Bixby Home. You can see right there. Now, Bixby is a nice piece of software, and if you like using it, uh, you might wanna keep it enabled, but there's a lot of people who prefer to use something like Google Assistant, or even have the key open a different app. The good news is that Samsung decided to give us that functionality built into the software this year. In past years, you had to use a third-party app to actually obtain the functionality. So if you click on the three-dot menu here once you're in Bixby Home, go to Settings, scroll down a little bit, you'll see right here it says Bixby Key. If you tap on that, there's some options to replace and change the functionality. Now you can't get rid of Bixby completely, but you can get rid of the functionality where you single press to open Bixby, which actually sort of negates the ability to press the button on accident and activate Bixby, which a lot of people have issues with. In order to do that, just go down here and hit double press to open Bixby. That means you actually have to double press the button, which is gonna be a much more intentional action. That's something that you're not very likely to go ahead and do on accident. Now, once you have enabled double press to open Bixby, you can use single press to open anything else you want. You can see here, if I go into the settings, you'll go to open app, click on the settings cog right there, and you can choose any app that you would like. You can see right now I'm using eBay, so then if I enable the functionality and I go back, now if I single press the button, it's gonna open my eBay app, and if I double press it, I'll get back right into Bixby Home. Now, of course, one thing that you'll notice is missing if you go into the Bixby key menu and you wanna use the single press to open an app, you'll notice that you can't use it to open Google Assistant, which is a little bit annoying because a lot of people would like to replace the Bixby Assistant with Google Assistant. You can't do that by default because Samsung wants to promote their own native assistant, of course, but the nice people over at XDA actually gave a great way to go about doing this. If you head over to the XDA article, which I'll link in the description, they came up with a great way to remap Bixby to Google Assistant on the Galaxy S10, the Note 9, and other devices running One UI. Yes, this is not exclusive to the S10, so if you have an older device uh, running One UI, it should work as well. What they basically did is use the app Tasker to go ahead and create a script, which they then rolled into an APK that you can download. So the APK is safe to download. You can download it right there. Again, I'm gonna link it below. Once you download it, the app is going to look like this. It says Bixby button, assistant remap, right there on the far right. Once you go ahead and get the app installed, just go ahead and double click again on your Bixby key to get into the settings menu, then scroll down to the Bixby key, choose use single press again, open app, and then choose that app that we just showed, which is the Bixby, Bixby button assistant remap. Go ahead and tap on that, and then you'll be able to open Google Assistant. So if I go home, single press on the Bixby button, there's Google Assistant. Very fast, no overlays or any weird stuff going on like in past years where you had to use a third party app. It's very intuitive, very fast, and lets you use Google Assistant instead of Bixby. Anyway, that's just a quick little guide on how to remap, replace the Bixby shortcut key on the Galaxy S10. Hope you guys found this very useful. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. I got a ton of more videos coming just like this on the Galaxy S10. Also drop any questions you have below. I'll be happy to answer them. Find me at Twitter, Google+, Instagram with the links in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.